M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're looking at the Open GD77 firmware. Let's have a look at the compatible radios. You've got the DM1801, the GD77, the 1801A, the RD5R, the MD9600 or the RT90, and the MDUV380 or RT3S. I've got a few shortcuts here to what some of these models look like. So here's the GD77. Now you can't really get this one anymore, but you can get the 1801 model. But the problem is that the new firmware um, doesn't accept the GD77 firmware. So the RT3S, it looks like you can still get that one. Here's the RT90, you can still get that. The DM1801, you just have to make sure you've got the older model. So, you know, fingers crossed if you can get that. Okay, and we've got a Facebook page here. So back to some of the uh, information here now. There's lo lots and lots of information here and links for you to look at. But what I find interesting, if you scroll right past all that, they start to give you some nice snap. They do show you how to install it. But they give you some nice snapshots of what you get once you've installed the GD77 firmware. So look here, you can see the, the, the main and, and sub band. And we'll just scroll down. We're only going to go through this quickly. Here's some talk groups. As you can see, talk group number, location, and it's at the top, it says the DMR, the slot you're on, the power you're using, it looks like color code and that battery percentage, channel specific, channel screen specific functionality, changing zones, quick menus, channel VFO, filter on, tone scan, VFO A, TXRX, Again, some more screenshots there. So I'm, I'm literally reading this and learning as I go. You can see you've got your, it looks like it's probably talker alias information. More information there. Talk group entity, so you can manual dial. Private call numbers, digital contacts, private calls, station DMR ID. CTCSS tone, so it's fine for repeaters, ETC. Squelch indicator there. DTM entry, DTMF again. I did actually see some sort of, yeah, there it is there, some sort of scope. What was it called? Spectrum sweep scan. Now you can't get that with your normal MD380. So you can see they put massive work into this. And you, you know, you've got to say thank you very much for all the work. So here's a quite a nice picture. This is the GD77, which is the one you can't really get now. You could buy a second hand one, I'm sure, and then you'll be fine. Um, it transforms the radio. You can see they're giving you a, an idea of all the functionality here. Nice design, nice drawing. <laughs> And look, even here, even more information, quick menu, channel, contact editing, locks, DMR, FM. Oh, it's just, it's very appealing. If you, because a lot, I, I did have one of these in my cupboard just lying around. And um, I sold it for, I think, £40. I didn't use it. Um, so there looks like an old both thing. They did make a DMR one, didn't they? There it is there, the Open RD5R. That one's probably still available, that one. Open RD5R. It's quite a small screen on the both thing, isn't it? But, you know, if you want something at a good price, then uh, just to have a little tinker with, then, yeah, not so bad. But look at all these screenshots here. There's lots here. Original screen, zones, credits, language. Oh, it just goes on. So I just thought I'd show you this, and I just think it's brilliant. I'll provide the link to this page, this exact page, You've got brightness there, simplex, DMR satellites, priority channels. It's like a signal strength meter as well, one that actually works. Time, battery, even even location if you get the GPS model. Even Look at that, even the temperature, battery. I'm not even at the bottom of the page yet. So, okay, well, I think that's enough. There's obviously a learning curve to installing this and installing any firmware, you run the risk of, of basically bricking your radio, or making your radio, you know, worthless. So you've got, you've got to be careful. Look at this here. 
this is more location stuff isn't it polar view satellite views so you can do satellite work if you can see this I mean that's way advanced isn't it so it's very appealing I am gonna have a go at this I uh, can't really get a GD 77 and really I want to do it on a radio that you can easily buy because I think that anyone watching this that would be interested would want to know they could buy the actual radio so thanks for watching my channel and uh, please subscribe if you're finding this happy and thanks loads to the team that have made all this happen bye for now seven three